A new book called The Epidemic of Mental Illness, Why, is about the dramatic increase in psychological and psychiatric disorders in the United States. To give you an example of the extent of this problem, we're number one in that category in the world by far. So in 1987, one out of every 184 Americans had a mental issue. Today, it's about one in every 76 people. A large survey of adults conducted between 2001 and 2003, sponsored by the National Institute of Mental Health, found that at some point in their lives, 46% of Americans met the criteria established by the American Psychiatric Association for at least one mental illness. Isn't that amazing? So that means that almost half of Americans at some point were mentally ill. That blows my mind, man. In 2011, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that antidepressant use in the United States has increased nearly 400% in the last two decades. The thesis of the book is that we overdiagnose psychiatric disorders and we pathologize normal behavior and that big pharma to an extent has corrupted the field of psychiatry uh, to make a profit. Now, uh, all of that is certainly true to an extent, but also I think it's important to bring up two other things and the article on Alternet brings this up as well. Uh, number one, the diagnostic process is always improving so that would account for at least some of the uh, increase in meds that are prescribed and increase in uh, mental disorders. But number two, and I think this is the biggest point and also the biggest problem, is that a June 2013 Gallup poll revealed that, quote, 70% of Americans hate their jobs or checked out of them. So you have to understand, antidepressants in, in and of themselves are not a problem. It's like people on Fox News who always attack food stamps. The problem isn't food stamps, the problem is hunger. Food stamps is an attempt to alleviate the problem. It's the same thing with antidepressants. That's not the problem. The problem is depression, right? So we have to get to the root cause of depression. What's causing this depression? And that uh, poll number, to me, is the elephant in the room. If you're not happy going to work every day, if you're not happy at your job, well, that's going to make you hate your life. And that's going to make you really down and really unhappy. So uh, I know it's this radical idea, but maybe the answer is that people shouldn't be treated as subhuman. You shouldn't be treated as some spoke in a machine that solely exists for some arbitrary company and their quarterly profits. I know, again, r radical idea that you're actually a human being and you deserve some leisure time. The answer to fix this is higher pay, a better social safety net, paid vacation by law, free health care, free college, and having our tax dollars actually go to things that matter instead of fighting arbitrary wars, uh, giving corporate welfare checks to ExxonMobil when they don't need it, funding ridiculous pork barrel projects. We just need to simply create a better society. And that means you should have enough leisure time to be able to find your passions and find what makes you happy.